Hello everyone, welcome back again. So today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlader Mali, which is the Winlader Mali Glib C version. Now this is a massive big update in terms of Windows emulation on Android devices, which have Mali GPU on MediaTek, Exynos, or whatsoever. In this update, they updated to original Wine D3D of 418. Comes with Glib C version. They have updated all presets and settings, and there are a lot more others to talk. Okay, here on Assets, download WinLadder Mali Glib C package. Also make sure that old version of WinLadder Mali is uninstalled. After download, install package. Open application. Allow permission. It starts to install system files. Now head over to settings. Set box 64 to 0.2.8, which is currently stable. Set preset to compatibility. Now save settings. Add new container. Set resolution to 800 by 600 or lower. Wine version is already set. Graphics driver to VirGL as usual. Set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable MIDI sound font. Enable FPS. On Wine configuration, same as usual. Set video memory to maximum. Go to environment variables. Here set Mesa GL version to 3.2 for experimental, or you can leave it to default 2.1. Now to advanced, select startup selection to aggressive. All right, everything is set. Now save the container. Here there is option contents. You can be able to add driver update files like VirGL, WineDriver, or whatsoever. You can install content from here itself. All right, on container, select reconfigure. Select OK. Now boot the container. For the first time, it starts to configure and the wine gets updated. Click on install. And there we go. On go to start. Here they updated some new presets for some titles. Now first go to install. Extras. Here you need to install some of these drivers. Install DirectX 10. Install FISEX driver and Visual C++ library. These are very important. Now again, one more thing. Here install Mesa VirGL to version 23.1.9, which is currently stable. That's it, we are now ready. All right, now let's go to System Tools and check out the Direct3D. Okay, it's working. Also, let's check out the GPU Caps Viewer. And there we go. So now currently it's installed with GL 3.2. BIOS is set to Wine GPU with one gigs of VRAM. Let's test out the GL3 demo. All right, guys, it's working. Finally, GL3 is working on a Mali. Means there might be a chance to run some DirectX 10 titles. Maybe, I don't know, like, let's see. Oh no, it's too bad. Like the GL3 is can't able to render on Mali GPU. A lot of errors and glitches, like, holy crap. All right, let's set it back to GL2.1. The only stable Mesa version means you can run direct X9C titles or lower. Like what do we expect? All right, so here we again set it back to the default 2.1. Now let's check it out again. All right, now it's fine. Like the GL2 have more compatible extension support for Wine Adapter. Not bad actually. Rico Rodriguez, nice of you to drop by. I'm waiting for you at El Rosario, but Let's test out Crisis. Hey, Nomad, you still with us? Okay, listen up, gentlemen. Intel reports a significant military presence on the island. We have the element of surprise, so let's use it. The North Koreans can't know we're here. They won't even know what hits them. <laughs> Can it, Psycho? Pay attention. So, JSOC's got us chasing archaeologists now? Yeah, this will be a key. I've heard of this guy. He must have found something big to buy all of this heat. 
Whatever. Fifty bucks says this Rosendahl ain't over water. The suit should absorb the impact. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Thanks for watching.